what do you mean by a cure? So I'm, or you or anybody, gets a disease, as I mentioned, pneumococcal pneumonia. You go to your physician, you get a shot of penicillin or you get the appropriate drug. You go out in a week or so, you are really cured. You stop the penicillin and you go on indefinitely and the pneumonia is gone. That's not what happens with HIV. So what I'm going to develop for you over the next minute is what appears to be a simple concept, but that is not fully appreciated when many people come to me and say, when are we going to get a cure? So what is a cure? A cure is to treat a disease such that the patient no longer needs to continue treatment. I gave the example of bacterial pneumonia. Another very good example is a tumor that you get in time before it spreads. You surgically remove the tumor, and 10 years from now, you don't need to keep getting operated on. You don't need chemotherapy. You're actually cured. That's a cure. The lack of requirement of maintaining continual therapy. This is in contrast to a suppression or management of a disease. An example is diabetes. With good insulin therapy, well controlled, diabetics are never cured, except if you have these new type of transplantation of islet cells or what have you, but that's a very rare event. But they continue therapy. People with chronic diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, they don't get cured, but they can do very well by suppressing inflammation with anti-rheumatic drugs. And HIV infection today, in 2008, falls in that category of suppressing replication, but not eliminating it. So then, if we're doing so well, which we are, I mean, we have hundreds of thousands of patients that we follow now who are working, productive members of society in the developed world, and many, many more now, though we're not at the numbers we want, in the developing world. We're only treating about 30% of the people who really need treatment in the developing world. But that's another story, and I'd be happy to discuss that in the question period. So why do we need a cure? And the reason is, with the persistence of the virus that doesn't go away, and I'm going to show you what I mean by not going away, antiviral therapy is currently a lifelong commitment. So if you look at the investment, that if 2.5 million people get infected every year, you have to add to the group, to the cohort, all the people you've already treated, plus the 2.5 million people for life. Logistically, that's very difficult and probably financially non-tenable. We likely will never have the financial or logistic capacity to reach or even treat everyone who actually needs antiviral therapy. So what's the obstacles to a cure? Why aren't I here telling you it's easy to cure? There are two reasons. And this is the crux of the message that I'm going to be giving you about cure or not. HIV hides from the immune system. I'm going to explain what I mean in a moment. Secondly, it forms a reservoir which is shielded from drug therapy. So unlike a bacterial pneumonia that has no place to hide, you give the penicillin, you're going to cure that pneumonia. So let me schematically go over it with you. And again, these may look complicated, but it really is simple. So I'll walk through it with you, and it'll just take a few seconds. The immune response to most viruses, you pick it, measles, mumps, rubella, hepatitis, polio, the virus comes into the body. It binds to a receptor. All viruses bind to a receptor on the cell, including HIV. It enters the cell, and then it starts making virus and infecting other cells. The body's natural response with an antibody, which is a soluble protein, is to block the virus, or they have these killer T cells that come recognize this cell as a bad cell and eliminate the cell so that at the end of a brief period of time, usually measured in days to at most weeks, the virally infected cell is eliminated. And everything else in your body is normal, which is the reason why when you get a bad flu or when you get a bad gastrointestinal 
infection. It doesn't feel good when you have it, but it ultimately goes away most of the time because the body has the capability of eliminating it. With HIV, that's different, and that's the crux of the issue. When HIV comes, it binds, just like any other virus, to a receptor. It goes into the cell and it starts making these virions. And the immune system tries. It makes an antibody. It destroys it with a cell. But what this virus does that's unique among any virus is that it integrates its genes into the chromosome of the cell so that even though you destroy a lot of virally infected cells, what remains is a latently infected cell that the immune system doesn't recognize. And the reason it doesn't recognize it is because the virus is now hidden in that genome. So when you treat somebody, you can suppress all the virus and the person feels really well, but you don't get rid of that reservoir. And it was that that prompted my colleague and I a few years ago to write a commentary in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences which predicted that it would be very difficult, if not impossible, given our current drugs to truly eradicate the virus. So how do you prove that? We did a simple experiment that was very sobering. We had a whole bunch of people who were doing spectacularly well. They were on antiviral drugs, they were all working, they were healthy looking, they felt well. And we, with the proper informed consent and discussion of what we were doing, we asked them to enter a study to very briefly stop therapy and see if their body could now control the virus. And what we saw really was not only sobering, but it plotted out a, an extraordinary challenge for the future. We reported it in this journal, and this is the level of virus right at the time we stopped therapy. We stopped therapy, and in every one of these individuals, every single one, the virus came back, which means despite the fact that for three to four years that these people have had complete suppression of virus, the virus was hidden away in this latent reservoir. Now, fortunately, when we put them back on therapy, the virus disappeared again, and all of them are doing very well. But that rather bold experiment told us that we have a real problem with, quote, a cure. 